Hello and welcome to this video about car safety. Um, this is an application of our understanding of momentum and forces and it's just the ways that cars are designed to make the passengers in those cars a little bit safer. So we could talk about a few things, we could talk about um, airbags, something called crumple zones, side impact bars and seating belts. And pretty much all these safety devices work in the same way in that they increase the time taken to stop, they reduce the rate of change of momentum and they decrease the impact force on the driver. So if you imagine when a car is moving along that car will have momentum so let's just give it a random figure of 50 kilograms meters per second and then it's going to want to stop and when it stops the momentum will be zero kilograms meters per second. So all we mean by the rate of change of momentum down here is how quickly the momentum turns from 50 kilograms in our example to zero kilograms and if this happens really slowly you are going to decrease the force that is put on the driver but if this happens suddenly like you can imagine with no safety features at all um, if you imagine a car just colliding directly with a brick wall with no safety features at all you would suddenly have that momentum shifting from 50 to 0 pretty much straight away and if that happens you will have loads of force on the people that are inside the car and that will cause massive injuries so a few safety features that we've put into cars nowadays and it will increase the time that it takes for the car to stop even if it increases it by a fraction of a second it will still be really important and this reduces the rate of change of momentum if you can't remember that you can say reduces how quickly the momentum changes And this finally decreases the impact force on the driver or the other passengers in the car as well. So the first thing that we'll talk about is airbags. And these are designed um, when you have an accident, hopefully none of you have ever had an accident before like this, but if you have a car accident and there's a, a significant force put on the car, these airbags will inflate, okay, will come out of the steering wheel and out of the sides of the car so that you hit your head on these airbags as opposed to the steering wheel itself and what that means is if you hit your head on the airbag rather than the wheel it will do these three things it'll increase the time taken for you to stop so if you imagine your head colliding with a steering wheel okay that happened, I've got an unhappy face. If you put your head against a stationary steering wheel, you would stop really quickly. But if you were to put an airbag in the way, if you put your head on that soft airbag, you can imagine that the time it takes for you to stop is going to increase. And that reduces the rate of change of momentum and decreases the force that is applied to your head okay so really important that rather than stopping suddenly your head on the steering wheel takes longer to stop um, the same idea happens with these crumple zones on cars so the fronts and also the sides I mean that's the side impact bars but you'd also have a crumple zone there as well these crumple zones are areas of the car that are designed to be crushed when they are hit so this again increases the time taken for the car to stop and reduces the rate of change of momentum and decreases the impact force on the driver. If you imagine rather than this car hitting the brick wall if this part of the car crumpled up by a small fraction of a second it will increase the time taken to the stop but even that small fraction of a second more is really important. Over here you've got seat belts and again they do um, 
the same thing. Okay, having that seatbelt, having that elastic object there increases the time taken for you to stop and reduces your rate of change of momentum and decreases the force that is applied to you. For example, if you just didn't have that seatbelt there, you would just fly and hit the, the seat and would stop straight away. But that seatbelt there, you're moving forward at a slower rate and that's um, increasing your time taken to stop. Finally, the final... Um, Car safety feature that I want to talk about is side impact bars. And these are used in conjunction with a crumple zone on the outside of the car. You can see um, here these side impact bars are used to reinforce the sides of the car to make it stronger. And these side impact bars are really strong, so if a car collides to you sideways, that will link in with that other car's crumple zone whereby that car will take longer to stop and reduce the change of momentum of that car and then it will decrease the force that is applied to your car. So sometimes you'll get side collisions. Okay, if you're driving along, another car might come in from the side and hit you from the side there and if that happens, these side impact bars will mean that the front of that other car will crumple up and also you'll have a slight crumple zone in the side of your car as well and altogether that will increase the time taken for this car to stop, reduce the rate of change of momentum and decrease the force that is applied to the drivers in this car. So all these, three thi all these four things that we discussed all um, help reduce the force on the driver by this way. So a typical question that you might get in the exam on this um, might be something like how do crumple zones help to improve the safety of the passengers? And this type of question might be three marks. And in that case, if it was three marks, you'd want all of these three points included in your answer. So it might be one that, again, some things I just recommend that you put on a post-it note, put in your room and kind of read over and over again. So that if you know that you get a question on car safety, you can remember these three points to include in your answer. If you found this video useful, then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.